Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and in this video I wish to share ab about um, releasing old mental habits and conditioning and programming and indoctrination and beliefs which no longer serve us or our, 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 true, our newer self in which we are becoming and who we choose and wish and want to be now, today, continuing and in our future. So, um, expansion happens to us for so many of us souls coming to earth because we want to have expansion and we it's fun and exciting and new and refreshing to have expansion. It's a beautiful thing to learn lessons and overcome obstacles. It's very satisfying to like solve a puzzle, to overcome an obstacle and to, to, to expand. So, as a result, um, of, as a soul coming here, our higher self will deliver and give us the gift of challenges and losses and hardships and problems. And with every door, there is a lock to be opened. For every keyhole, there is a key. For every problem, there is a solution. For every challenge, there is a solution. <laughs> It's automatically built in to in if it comes to existence, a problem automatically built in with the huge expansive state of the universe is the solution. So, so we here is some mental talk and some awareness that I'd like to share with you, which is a higher model, an upgraded version of mental self talk and chatter. For example, today I just recognized my friend posting and I, I just brought to my awareness how there's no point in saying you did something much better than me uh, much deeper and um, there's a maybe there's a potential that some of us do things a different way that may be deeper but that doesn't mean it's better because don't forget we all hold a unique vibration in any moment and a, a signature energy that's unique to us um nobody can copy us no one can like they may try but they'll be a totally paper thin per imitation of us so there is there's no point trying us to copy anybody else similarly we'll only be a paper thin poor copy or imitation of somebody else so the truth is and the truth will set you free and that is that we are special and unique just the way we are um the greatest gift that we, i can ever give myself give the universe is to be myself my true self my authentic self my inspired self my my aligned self that is is in the receptive mode more and more in the daytime in the nighttime anytime in the now moment tuning into the into tuning into into our inner being our true or deeper higher self, our aligned state, which is a state of peace, love, happiness, harmony, creativity, inspired action, receptivity, flow, being in the zone, channeling, uh, all sorts of magnificent stuff. So the greatest gift that we can ever give ourselves or anyone else is to be our true self. And that means to let go of the blocks and the inner hindrances and blocks, the, 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 the unaligned thinking, perception, beliefs, which comes from our perfect, wonderful past, our programming, our, our hurts, pains and traumas, our indoctrination, our, our um, conditioning, um, all this stuff that's come into our mind, you know, and how we perceive and see the world and see ourselves. So the best, most fun way to live is to, 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 to realize that our number one job and therefore tune into our true self more and more regularly, generally speaking, and to live in this state of flow and in the zone and inspiration, happiness, harmony, fun, jokiness, playfulness, inner child, living, liveness, interaction in a, in a connected, fun space of well-being, God, it makes me just feel like exhilarated <laughs> thinking about it. Now, no one is always in this state. And this is what some people call enlightened. But enlightenment isn't a constant state. It's, it's a state of just simply living in more of this connection. Th this connection, not this connection, but this type of wonderful connection. So 
I don't know. There's so many funny interpretations of so many things in this planet and there's so many stories and perceptions and they're all right and good in their own way. But there's also like certain false beliefs and hindrances which stop us because from being our true, fun, happy self. Because at the end of the day, we're creators. So the more we become in the zone, we create stuff from our zone. So we teach, exemplify uh, and remind our children, you know, and other people through our vibration. Like we all are sending vibrational messages all the time. Like if we could see vibration, which some of us can, but not many of us can, to be honest. Like I can't necessarily really, but you know, I can see it physically, but that's not really the energy exactly I'm seeing, but I'm seeing a representation of the energy, which is for, for example, the physical body, body language, gesticulation, facial expressions, the intonation of the, of the, of the words that we speak. So everyone, I do invite you all, if you want to share this video to anyone else who you think could benefit from this video. And I think it's I think it's especially very powerful for everyone, but like parents too. But uh, just like everyone, like adolescents, teenagers, like I die to like get this information if I was a teenager. <laughs> so everyone, including adults, conscious co-creators and creators that we all are, to recognize and know that we are creator and the best creation we can ever have is our true creations, not trying to copy anybody else, but the inspired stuff coming from our heart. And don't forget, we also create not only just for the world, but we create for ourselves. Like any decision or choice is basically a creation for ourselves too. For Self-love is an act of creation. For example, if I, I want to choose to get a massage more regularly now, maybe possibly once every week and a half to two weeks. And this is a, an act of creation because I, I am a creator and so are you. We are creators and what I want to create right now, which is why I want to get a massage every week and a half to two weeks, is the creation of my physique and my body, my fitness, my strength, my power, my energy. These are all, we create our physique and our health and our bodies. That's one part. We create everything else too. Our, our, we create our purpose with our choice. It's, it's a deliberate conscious act based on what we're exhilarated and inspired to create. What's fun and meaningful and fulfilling and satisfying. We create our jobs, our work, our business, uh, all that topic, money, wealth, prosperity. We create our emotional well-being. We create everything. We create a home, our family dynamic. We create our relationships, our colleague relationships, parent or children, our sibling relationships, all our relationships with strangers, colleagues, everything. So at the end of the day, um, knowing what our energy is like and knowing the, our energy output into the world the words that we speak is a creation and relationships are co-creation, co-creative. But what's more important, what's more important with relationships is what energy we are embodying and how we're reacting to somebody else and how we're responding or reacting consciously or unconsciously. Because what's far more important is not the vibration or energy of someone else. It's what us is delivering and being and embodying and expressing because it's, it's a state of powerlessness to be the victim or the, the purely reactive weak force that's dominated by another person's energy that's not powerful that's but if we can be a heart-centered loving in the zone aligned uh, um, responder to someone else's energy our energy is way stronger like not to, it's not going to overpower them it's only going to influence them in, like in a beautiful way so that in another way of saying it is it doesn't matter if someone else gets triggered or anarchy or grumpy or cranky or even giving out necessarily if we are able to stay in alignment with who we truly are through our perception and beliefs of them we will respond in a very genius like manner that's magical that will totally instead of creating an argument or a fight or a breakup will have understanding love and compassion and kindness and even happiness to a degree possibly too yeah we'll have happiness the more we're aligned for sure but all of these things together will bring a state of harmony and peace within us in which case instead of us reacting in a destructive way we will basically flood slash dominate um, be stronger in our our higher frequency energy heart aligned inspired wise energy and then we will like respond in a masterful manner <laughs> To be honest, I've seen this so much in my own life and like, and I know it exists in so many other people's lives too. It's nothing, it's nothing unusual. Um, it's nothing especially special. It's just who we are and who we can be. The old way of like unconscious reactive living, disharmony and disconnect, disconnection all the time. That's the old way, guys. We didn't come here to live the old way. We are on the brink of like global change and consciousness shifting. 
and through choosing and knowing what energy we want to embody and share with the world, express it, um, uh, we get to be, we are consciousness changers and shifters of the planet. And to, to shift the energy of the planet, we just have to shift our own energy and we all do it together. It's called conscious, collective consciousness change and shift. So you can't control someone else's energy, but what's a hundred times more important is choosing your own energy. So giving yourself compliments and praise, it's okay to, comp to compare, but don't compare in, in a way that makes you feel bad or another person feel bad. Only compare with an energy and a mindset, a perception of love and seeing the beauty and unique of everybody and how we can all learn from one another and complement and work together. That's all. It's cool. So I like comparison. Don't do it excessively, but it's not like I'm trying to pretend I don't see stuff and say, hey, this is that way, we're that way, you're that way, I'm that way. There's so much I can learn from everyone. So at the end of the day, we're all teachers, we're all learners, and we're all teachers and learners, basically, and students. Teachers, learners, students, we're all that. So it's okay to learn. It's great to learn. So that's my exciting message for today. Uh, yeah, Life is good. We've come here to play, to, to create and co-create. We're not the victim of our circumstances. Uh, we are powerful, divine creator beings who've come here to create. It, it's not so much about the creating or the manifest. It's not so much about the manifestation or the creation. It's way more important the, the creating and the manifesting because as a creator, we want to create and be in the act of creating. It's not about creating something black or finished, looking back, spend the rest of our life, just look at what we've just done. It's about the constant creating. We're constantly creating and manifesting. And that's the fun of life because we're constantly learning and we're constantly experiencing. We're constantly creating new desires and interests and passions to create new stuff. So it's fun to look at what we've just created, but it's delicious to be in the process of creating new stuff that's like super good. And don't forget, we're totally creating our relationships too, as, as I said all the time, our body and physique, our money and business and job, career, purpose, prosperity, everything. It's fun and exciting. This is the beauty of life. Life hits the road in the now moment. The pa Every now moment, the past is already gone. It doesn't matter what happens in the past. What happens is what we're going to do right now, going into the future, right now. Constant stream of nows, forward moving into the future. It's about feeling and experiencing what's here right now and loving it and living it up to the max with an aligned perspective that correlates with our true higher, deeper self of who we truly, deeply are. If you can see life and every interaction and, and challenge and scenario through this perspective of who we truly, deeper, highly are, you're going to experience positive emotion hugely and extensively. And if you could do it all the time, which is not what we've come here to be, we're not here to be totally always happy and joyful we've come here to taste everything like a flavorful dish and that's the fun part uh, the fun part is feeling sad and then feeling uh, less sad and happier to feel confused to feel confused and then to feel clarity we've come here to taste that deliciousness to feel lost and then to feel what it's like to be found that's what we've come here for to feel despair and then to feel hope and optimism think of the beautiful journey that's what it's all about so the way my camera is i can't see any comments i'd love to see because i do see some of you commenting so thank you for your comments uh, but yeah life is good it's meant to be enjoyable it's a gift you can never get it finished you can never fully finishedly arrive so don't even try and arrive. Don't even try and get it all finished. There'll always be new things you want to do to be in the process of creating and manifesting the ing, ongoing ingness, the beingness, the energy beingness and output and expression. So yeah, it's okay. We can relax into knowing it never ends and we can never get it done because there's always new stuff to arrive is always coming and to do and to be so that's all i really want to say hope you've enjoyed this video as much as i've enjoyed uh making it and sharing it hope you have a lovely day lots of love and uh if you have any questions or comments uh feel feel welcome to leave them down below and if you want feel welcome to share for the people who you think may benefit and enjoy this video also 
have a lovely day and I'll talk to you soon. And don't forget to subscribe if you wish to my YouTube channel. Forgot to say that.